Hello and welcome back to our program. In an open letter to Russia's President Putin, former NATO Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Jochen Scholz showed complete understanding for Russia's position concerning the Ukraine question. The letter, also signed by numerous German intellectuals, warns that the NATO missile defense system in Eastern Europe is intended to make an initial nuclear attack on Russia possible. In his letter, Scholz also names the driving force behind the motives of the Western powers in the confrontation with Russia. Correspondingly, he said, Russia's political and economic upswing is a thorn in the side of the West. He explained to Putin that the state and economic consolidation of his country, since his taking office in 2000, are the real reason for Western aggression against him. And he wished Putin in the name of all those who had signed the letter, firmness and wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a precise look at the official statistics to see whether Russia has consolidated economically and socially under Putin from 2000 to 2010. The West's unease with Russia takes on a whole new light in view of these statistics. Russia's gross domestic product rose 96.7%. Foreign trade grew by 332 percent. The trade balance grew 150 percent, while foreign investments rose an entire 952 percent. National debt sank by 83.3 percent, and inflation went down 56.5 percent in comparison to the rate in the year 2000. Industrial production grew by 47 percent, while wages rose 142 percent and pensions even 231 percent. Retail sales grew 156 percent, while the amount of poverty stricken sank 56.6 percent and unemployment sank 29.2 percent. Births in Russia increased by 41.3 percent, while the amount of deaths decreased 8.7 percent. Natural decrease of population went back by 74.9 percent and infant mortality rates by 30.6 percent. The life expectancy rate went up 3.7 years and the amount of crimes committed sank about 10.9 percent. Lastly, the amount of homicides decreased by 50.9 percent, alcohol poisonings by 61.3 percent and suicide rates sank about 41.5 percent. While Putin has been demonized in the past few weeks by Western mass media, his actions give a totally different picture. Now it is more important than ever to make serious facts and competent counter-voices available to the public, as Jochen Scholz did. One-sided reporting has already done enough damage in the past. So please support Klagemauer TV by recommending our programs to others. Thanks a lot. Goodbye for now.